Did you know you can take small amounts of money like this and turn it into a $1,000 emergency fund? Stay tuned and let me show you how. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Wanda is my name and saving money is my game. If you're not saving for emergencies, let's make it yours too. Let's save more in 2024. Let's save more money in 2024 and we'll be glad that we did. And I'm asking if you would please consider subscribing to this channel if this is your first time click the thumbs up button, share the video because there may be someone else that can use this content also, and click the bell that you may be notified every time I upload a new video. And I wanna say welcome to everyone. I am happy that you are here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a savings challenge, which I have six, to seven all together. And they're all working with small amounts of money. That way we have no excuse for not saving money, okay? When we take small amounts of money and put it aside every time we get paid, every time we get some money, it adds up over time, it accumulates. If we're patient, consistent, and disciplined. Discipline, don't touch it. Consistent, constantly adding to it and being patient. It adds up, it accumulates. And today's challenge is savings challenge number six, which I do on Saturdays. And like I said, I have six. The seventh one I don't do that much, which is on Sundays. But you can go and find the one that will be suitable for you. You know, I have one where I'm going $1 bills, $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, rolls of quarters, and even change. And this can help you if you don't have an emergency fund. But if we start out small, we can work our way up. And we know we need to have at least $1,000 for emergency fund, but we don't just stop there because that would only cover emergency up to $1,000. But we want to be in a position that we can at least cover that. You know, it's kind of hard when you don't even have $50 to cover a $50 emergency fund. So, I'm creating these videos to encourage and motivate someone to start saving if they're not. No matter what reason you have for not saving, if you're living on a low budget, which that's what some people are, low income, which that's the case for some people, or just not saving. You know, I used to have a mind not to save, but that has all changed. So, and I've seen the importance of savings because I was seeing that these emergencies was coming when I didn't have any money and I would be stuck between a rock and a hard place. You know, or either have to rob Peter to pay Paul. That's not the way we should be doing things. You don't know, tap it into bill money. We want to have something else put aside, some money put aside, so we can tap into our emergency fund and take care of bills. And we don't want to have to go to people and beg and borrow or get payday loans or title loans. You know, I've been there. Been there, been there, been there. And we don't want to have to do that. So we're going to take small amounts of money every week or every two weeks, however we get paid, and create emergency fund. Now, you know we go past the $1,000. We get three to six months of our expenses, okay? Now, today's savings challenge is working with, and I'm challenging you to do the savings challenge. Do this one. This one is working with only $20. And I have here, this is a coupon holder. 
that I got out of Dollar Tree, and this is not a sponsored video. I was in there looking for some other supplies, and I saw this, and I said, oh, that would be good for cash stuffing. I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do with it at the time, but I grabbed it. And I've been stuffing this with $20 bills. So let me show you how much I've saved so far. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 and then I'm going to add this wow $100 and when this is all stuff it's going to be $140 now I've already completed this um I forgot the date it was on I think it was March 16th and what I did with this I put this money into the stock market I deposited in my brokerage account and I bought some ETFs okay now and the reason I didn't put this into my emergency fund because I already have my emergency fund, okay? So, and that's another thing we need to do. Not only save, we need to invest. So I'm doing both. I'm saving and I'm investing. So let me go ahead and stuff this. Like I said, 20, 40. Can you see me? 60. all completed because this has seven slots now you can find some of these if you can't find one in Dollar Tree go on Amazon or go on Timu or Etsy or Shopify or you can go on Walmart and Target and look for something like this it doesn't have to have seven slots it can have more the more you have the more you can put in and if you don't want to do $20 bill you can do $50 bills you can do $100 bills you can do ones but do something. Like I said, it adds up over time. You see how I've been adding this in here? And I have $100 already. So. <laughs> uh, when it's complete, I think I want to invest in the stock market again. I think that's what I'm going to do. But anyway. Oh, I forgot to add this into my planner that I record this in to let me know what I've done. Okay, today is April 20th, Saturday, April 20th. And this is my coupon holder savings challenge. Okay, and I added $20. And there, the total is $100. Okay, see how that has added up? Last week, it was $80, and the week for that, before that, it was $60. So, this is what I've been doing every week. And if you can't do it every week, do it every two weeks, or however you can do it. But just do something. You'll be glad that you did. All right, so this is another great idea or tip for someone to save if they're not saving. And like I said, just be patient, consistent, and disciplined. Save something, put away something. You will be glad that you did because you wanna have something to tap into when that emergency comes. You just never know, you know, what's gonna happen. And let me make this suggestion. When you have things like this, when you're doing things like this, make sure you have it in a nice, safe place. Um, you can go on Amazon and buy uh, a safe. Now, they even have them in places like Home Depot, Menards. You know, they have them small and they have them big. You wanna get something that'll mount to the floor and to the wall. Something that's waterproof, and fireproof. You know, God forbid someone's house gets on fire, you don't want your money to get burned up. Or if there's a flood, you don't want you know your money to get destroyed. So make sure when you're doing these savings and challenges 
that you have it in a nice, safe place. I think it's a good idea to have money in your home. What if the bank is shut down? What if the, something's going on at the bank and you can't get no money out the bank? You should still have some in your house, but in a nice, safe place. Okay? All right. So, join me in the savings challenge and drop me a comment and let me know if you're doing this savings challenge and let me know what you think of this savings challenge and let me know, do you think this is a good idea? Okay? I would love to hear from you. So, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next video and happy savings.